and that is what I did through my own research and my own uh, my own um, readings. I realized, isa isa malunggay. Wow, taas ng ano yan? Healing powers yan. Okay, yung um, yung ampalaya, taas din ng healing powers yan. Guyabano, wheatgrass, but above them all is barley. Above yes. them all. It's so amazing kasi yung highest niyan next to barley is wheatgrass. And yet yung wheatgrass is only half as powerful as barley. Half. So everything else is below that. Berries are very high also. Okay, pero the best way to boost your immunity is through barley. And so, since alam ko na kung ano barley, uh, kung ano yung pinaka best way to boost my immune system, next step, aling barley. Dahil ang klase ng barley from all over the world. Okay, meron India, may China. Actually, barley can be grown in any cold country. May US, okay, everywhere. New Zealand. The best is from Australia. And only one place in Australia grows barley. Why? Because the weather, the soil, the way it is it is uh, uh, planted and harvested, the way it is treated in the in the plant, so that the integrity and the purity of the of the product itself of the plant itself is contained 100 percent. So, pagdating po sa packaging natin, everything until it gets to your table, until you open it and put it in your glass it is still 100% there as if it was the day they harvested it itself. Wow. That is how amazing our barley is. Now, how does barley affect people? We're not a pharma company. We don't do a million tests. We believe in what God says. He promises certain things and try it. What have you got to lose? For me, I was already in the hospital. Nas hospital na ako. Lahat ng sinasabi ng doktor, ginagawa ko na. Lahat ng gamot, Tinitake ko, and yet, bakit? Hindi nila ako mapagaling the way nag-recover ako nung nag-barley ako. Yes. Kaaway ng mga doktor ang mga natural products. I have to be honest. Because they don't make money from natural products. That's the beauty of I Am. I Am has made it available to you so that you can make money from yes. natural products. I was in that bubble. I was thinking already things like, pag namatay ako, kamusta kaya yung anak ko? Sino mag-aalaga? All the things that you don't think about when you're 30. And I was already thinking, and accept ko na, okay naman daddy niya eh, kahit ibalay kami. Mapapalaki niyang mabuti yan. Andiyan naman mama ko, my sisters, di ba? Little did I know that God had a plan. That someday, what now? That was 2000. 17 years later, I would be here with you. Yes. Iba magplano si Lord. Do not, do not assume to know you. Grabe, for me, I am very emotional kasi it's so real for me. It was a time when I really thought Natapos na yung buhay ko. And then, every time, every single time, meron ganito na gathering or, or yung launch ng I am natin. Di ba? Yung sobrang grateful ako na, wow God, binigay mo pa rin sa akin itong opportunity na makashare. Even if the worst thing happened to me in my life na because of that cancer, because of that experience, and dito ako ngayon. Nakakatulong sa maraming tao through I am, di ba? Sobrang nakaka-overwhelm. Alam nyo, after my first chemo, which I was in that isolation for so long, on my second chemo, di na ako na-isolate. Yung immune system ko, which took 21 days to recover from the first chemo. So, kunyari, ah, may, may ano kayo? Maro, thank you guys. Explain ko lang para naiintindihan nyo. During my first chemo, I ended up in the ICU. 
Okay? Yan. Tama yan, ha? Ako to. I'm not very good at drawing. Okay? Nakababol yan. Ang first key mo, say day one. Ito pala. Wala pa na. Wala. Day one yan. Day one. First key mo. Ang treatment ko is four chemos. Dapat. And then after the four chemos, 21 days of radiation therapy. So on day one of my first chemo, the doctor already told me na you have to recover, your white blood cells will be wiped out. It's natural, sabi niya. Your second chemo is 21 days from now. Within 21 days, your white blood cells have to be recovered. If not, we cannot give you the second chemo. Okay? And if we cannot give you the second chemo, you will go back to the first again. Can you imagine? Eh, yung first pa lang na gusto ko na mamatay. May tatlo pang matitira. Tapos pag na ano, disqualify, uulit. Makakainan ako. Yun yung nasa mind ko. So, kailangan talaga mahit ko yung 21 days. Parang ano, no? Parang... Parang bro. Parang ano, hindi. Parang kuota sa ano. Kailangan mag-hit. Mag-sapire. Di ba ganun eh? Actually, except that this is for your life. This was for my life. So, I cannot rely lang on what the doctors are saying. Kasi for me, okay, andyan na. Lahat ng sinasabi na gagawin ko. Pero, kailangan din tulungan ko sarili ko. Doon pumasok yung research. Doon pumasok yung Barbie. Nung na-discover ko na, alam nyo, on the 20th day, every day, kukuna ka ng dugo. Every day for 21 days. On the 20th day, sinabihan ako, you made it. We can give it to you tomorrow. Imagine ka recover ko lang today. Tomorrow, titirahin na naman ako. <laughs> Alam mo, gusto mo sabihin, pwede time out kayo, one week lang, please lang, para normal yung feeling ulit. Ang feeling kasi dito, parang ang gulay. Hindi ka makabanyo on your own, kailangan may nag-aalala yung sa'yo. Hindi ka makakain ng tama, kasi lahat ng, ang bibig mo, punong-puno ng mga singaw. Okay? Walang lasa, lahat ng kainin mo, tastes like metal. No promise, no, no. Alam mo yung sabihin nila, do you know what metal tastes like? Me, I know. Kasi it ruins your taste buds completely. Alam mo my favorite things like chocolate, okay, Coke, yung mga ganyan. Diba yung mga gusto mong kainin? Burger. Lahat na ipasok ko sa bibig ko, lasang metal. So wala, wala kang gana. Why will you eat? Kahit sa mind mo, ito yung taste, diba? Sabi mo, ito yung lasa niya. Pabibili ko niya. Pagdating sa'yo, hindi yun yung lasa. Yun yun, yun yung side effects ng chemotherapy. So I made it to my second. By then, imagine 20 days na ako nagre-research. By then, sabi ko, by then, last by, I told him, bumili ka ng barn. I don't care what the doctor say. Itaabo mo, huwag mong pakikita na pinasok mo dito. So naipasok. I kept taking it. Alam mo, my second chemo, it took me four days to recover. Wow. wow. Four days. <laughs> Kanina sa mga pichi, meron daw tao dito na nag-testify na nagtatago na siya. <laughs> na meron daw gallstones. Gallstones ba? Yes. Gallstones. And after three days of taking the barley, four days, four days what happened? Lumabas, lumabas. Ganun ka-powerful yung barley. There are people, it takes years. There are some conditions that I had that took years to recover, but it still recovered. Like, what, because of chemotherapy, one of the side effects is my ovaries shut down. So no more meds. No more period. So my doctor told me I'll never have children again. And I only had one child back then, si Lexi. She was only six when I got diagnosed. And when, she, when my doctor told me na I'll never have children again, I don't feel like, okay na rin, at least I have one. But in the back of my mind, I was thinking, what if I get a recurrence in the future? Okay? 
what if next time it's not I'm not so lucky? What if next time I God really wants to take me na? Diba? Sabihin natin, 5 years from now, 10 years from now, bumalik yung cancer, which is very, very much a possibility for any cancer patient. Once may cancer ka na, chances of recurrence are always 50% higher than somebody who's never had cancer. Okay? So, but now I'm on my 16th year. So, out of the woods na ako. Oh my God. Normally, a recurrence happens within 2 years. Kung hindi ka pa graduate nung 2 years mo, hindi ka pa out of the woods. Pag nakagraduate ka na ng 2 years, your next is 5 years. That's your goal. Pag nakagraduate ka ng 5, 10. Sometimes, even up 12 or 13, nagkaka-recurrence pa. Okay? So you are not out of the woods. For me, it's been 16 years. Plus, why do I know I am cured? Because my cancer, the one that I had, was called RH positive. RH positive is, it feeds on estrogen. Ang nagpapakain sa cancer ko is estrogen sa katawan. Eh di ba nagkaanak ako ulit? After three years, yan ah, three years ako umiinom ng barley from day one. My period came back. Wow. Three years! So that just goes to show, some things it will fix in 20 days, some things it will take years. But no matter what, if you're consistent and you drink it regularly, it will be fixed. Yes. So on the third year, I had a, I got pregnant and I got I have my son. During my pregnancy, all my doctors were going crazy. Nako, that's so dangerous. You have to have a medical abortion immediately. You have to do this, you have to do that. Nako, you cannot. You're a cancer survivor. Do you want to get cancer again? Yun yung sinasabi sa akin. Because nga, when you get pregnant, what goes up? In your system. Estrogen. Correct? When estrogen goes up, I'm feeding the cancer. So whatever is dormant, whatever is sleeping in my system, will wake up again. And it will be fed. And I will get it again. Yun yung fear. Even my mom, my mom, iniiyakan ako. Hindi daw ba sapat na pinadaan ko niya sa kanya one time. At uulit pa ako. I'm so selfish. Lahat, I heard it all. You're a selfish person. You're only thinking of yourself. Lahat yan, sinabi sa akin. But you know, I knew. In my heart, I knew. God will not allow this if there's no purpose. Yes. 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 And you know, now my son is 12. <laughs> Imagine he's 12. What if I had, had an abortion? He'd not be here. Yes. You know? And he brings everybody so much joy. Not just me, my mom, my, my, my daughter. And you know, when I found out I was going to have another child, you know, I knew in my heart it was going to be a boy. Hindi ko pa alam ha, yung sex. Pero in my heart, I knew God. God promised. He said to me, you're going to have a son. You know, from the day that I knew I was pregnant, alam ko lalaki. And I knew also that you know, I was reading Malakai because I have so many testimonies about tithing some other time regarding tithing. But in a nutshell, when I went to the States and I found out I was pregnant, I had no money. None. But I was always a, face, a very faithful tither. Tayo, nagpapayaman, di ba? Like what Pastor said earlier, it all belongs to God. All of it. Pag 10 pesos lang ang pera mo, easy no, to give 1 peso. Pag 100 pesos, easy to give 10. Pag 100,000 na, madali pa bang magbigay ng 10,000? Or, pag 1 million na, 
tayo mo magbigay ng 100,000. Harder, di ba? Why? It's relative. It's the same ratio. Why does it become harder? I remember there was one time I earned 1 million pesos in one TV show. I went to, ano, went to church. Ano si Connie? Reyes. Nakaredy na yung check ko ng time. Yung pero, hindi ko mabigay sa church. Sa victory. Lumapit ako sa kanya. Sabi ko, Connie, I made na the check. <laughs> it's heavy in my heart. Sabi ko, parang bigat ibigay. Sabi niya, come on, Tom. So, alam mo yung hawak yung, ito yung cheque, ah, ito. Here, Paul. Baka mo. Tinaga niya na lang. Ipaganya na lang sa kanya. Promise. Alam mo, she reminded me. Sabi niya, you cannot outgive God. Yes. No, when I got sick and I had no money to pay for anything, I was in America. I blindly applied. Blindly. I'm not entitled. I'm not an American citizen. I blindly applied for medical aid. And I got approved. My entire treatment was free. Woo! Wow. And you know what? I remember that moment that I that I gave that check to Connie. Yung bigat ng pag-release pag nung, alam mo yung envelope natin, sabi ko, hirap talaga, hirap i-release yun. Pero I'm so grateful that I did because at the time when I needed help, God was there. He, you know I calculated how much it would cost? Five million to three. What I got in pesos, hundred thousand dollars, is what it would have cost back then. It was five million. Ngayon siguro do, niyan. But I didn't pay for anything. Even my maintenance ko every day. Yung tao niya ng tamoxifen. Normally, one tamoxifen is a hundred dollars, and I have to take one every day. You know how much I was paying? One dollar for each one. You cannot outgive God. So, okay lang na magpayaman. But don't forget what Pastor said. The money isn't ours. We're only stewards. So, ayan, aside track tuloy ako. Okay, anyway. So, because of the estrogen, I was... Everybody was fearful for me to get pregnant, but I had my son. And he's completely well. He's... Wala. Alam mo, I only have one breast to breastfeed him. Because they had radiated my right breast. So when they radiate, I actually asked my doctor, how's that? What if I have another, you know, eventually if I have another child, you're never going to have another child. Look me when somebody speaks into your life like that, how hard it is to receive and accept. But what if? No, you will never. <laughs> no, but you know, I'm just saying hypothetically, if, don't do that to yourself. It's never going to happen. Ang kulit talaga. Alam mo yung ganun ang demonyo eh. Ganun ang demonyo. Promise. They steal and they lie. They steal your joy. And you don't let them. And you know, even though he, he probably was an atheist, I looked him straight in the eye and I said, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I will have another child. And, you know, when eventually, I got pregnant three years after. I was already here. I was so excited, I called him. My oncologist in the States, I called him. Hirap pa get through. Dami, you know that oncologists in America are one of the richest? Because they, people get cancer all the time. So they always have patients. It's a business. <laughs> Normally, they don't even know you. They don't remember your name sa dami. Pero ako, natandaan niya. Kasi number one, I'm not from there. I'm from the Philippines. Number two, maganda ako eh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
must have made an impression. <laughs> Number three, which is probably most likely the reason why he remembered me, I was his youngest patient. Okay. I was I was only 30. Most of his patients are 60, in their 50s, kanya. Siyempre, siguro, tuwing ako yung papasok sa office niya, happy siya. Hindi, hindi masyonda yung pumasok. <laughs> diba? Hindi Jurassic. So, <laughs> nagkaroon kami ng banter ng aking doctor. And I called him. When I called, I got his secretary. The other secretary said, Oh, uh, who is this piece? Because this is uh, Paritoni from the Philippines. Oh, one moment, please. Ang bilis, sumagot yung doctor ko. Sabi ko, hi, Dr. Cooley, do you remember me? Sabi niya, how can I forget my beautiful patient? <laughs> Sabi niya, what is, is something wrong? Are you having a recurrence? Kasi normally, tatawag ka lang mo sa doctor mo kapag nagkaroon ka ng problema ulit, di ba? Sabi ko, oh, no, 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 I'm perfectly fine. Thank you very much. But I just wanted to call you because I remember how you told me I would never have a child again. And I just wanted to share the good news with you that I have, I'm going to have another child. Those were my words. I'm going to have another child. There's silence on the phone, no? And then he goes, well, you know what? I'm really glad you decided to adopt. Ganon siya ka certain that I will never be pregnant again. So I said, no, 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 Dr. Kuli, you don't seem to understand. I'm pregnant. Again, silence. Tagal! Are you there? Are you still there, dog? Sabi niya, no, 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 that's, that's not possible. Sabi niya sa akin, sabi ko, no, dog, I'm pregnant. And I'm gonna have a son. Kasi by that time, alam ko na, no, I was already uh, mga four months pregnant. And he said, oh, um, no, wait, um, what did you do? <laughs> what did I do? No. Oh, I have sex? <laughs> Siguro kala niya medical procedure or something. So I said, no, I, I've been taking a supplement for a while. And it's called barley. And ako yung nag-educate sa kanya about what I had done this whole time from day one. Sabi niya, oh, you're a sneaky one. <laughs> sabi ko, but it worked. And sabi niya, oh, well, I'm very happy for you. You know, and um, in as much as we are not allowed to recommend those things, being doctors, we do not stop our patients if they want to. So imagine, that's my oncologist now. He's the one that told me I'll never have a child again. He's the one that told me that, you know, if I get pregnant, for sure I'll have a recurrence. And yet, here I am. My child is 12 years old. I'm 100% in good shape. I would like to say I'm in more than good shape. Yes! yes. So, sinishare ko lang to para malaman nyo kung saan nag nagumpisa yung barley natin. It has come a long way. It, when I first met AM, you know, and he told me he was interested in the barley, parang protective pa ako. Di ba yung parang ayaw kong ishare? Kasi parang ang feeling ko, Baby ko to eh. This is my baby. This is what I this is what helped me survive. And then after a year of friendship that developed between us, I could feel where his heart was. And I knew that his purpose was aligned with mine, which is that we want to help people. We want to help people get better. We want to spread the love of God more than anything. And one of the one of the ways, ironically, yeah, is through one of the toughest things I've ever had to go through in my life. And something that I discovered during that time. So, you know, it is an honor and a blessing to be able to provide the barn that helped me to I am worldwide. So do not ever, I mean, if you have any questions, it's, we're always available to let you know. You know, I always encourage also members. Kasi min minsan yung mga nag, nag pa private message sa mga social media accounts ko. Simple things like, pwede ba ang barley sa diabetic? You can Google that. 
I am not your only source of information. Okay? It is in the internet. That's why I am proud to tell you, grabe ang galit ng barley natin. Kasi hindi lang po sa akin dapat manggaling yung bilib din yun. Ako lang po ay testimony. I am, this is, this thing that you see in front of you is the reason why I'm living proof that it works. Okay? But go and do your own research. Find out. Maybe, mas may alam pa kayo eventually kesa sa akin about what barley can do. Diba? You know, I've had people take barley, come up to me and say, Hoy, alam nyo, yung anak ko, uh, congenital lang heart disease niya, ganyan-ganyan. And then, we just kept giving barley and eventually it healed. I didn't know that barley could do that. Kasi bar I'm not naman a doctor or, or a nutritionist. I'm just a person who took this beautiful gift of God and it worked for me. And that's why I want to share it. I want to let you all know that we are here to support you in every way. Um, it will not only give you great health, it will give you great pockets. Yes. yes. yes.